In this video, we'll show you how to configure and display wind speed and direction on your AV30. The AV30 calculates wind by comparing GPS ground speed and track with indicated airspeed and heading, so you'll need to make sure you, that your system is properly connected and configured. You'll need to confirm the following. Number one, make sure you have an outside air temperature probe. Uh, one way to confirm that is to make sure that it's being displayed on the AV30. So right here we are displaying uh, 37 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a little cold today. Um, and then you also want to confirm that the GPS is connected. And we're going to do that by clicking the left button one time. You see this, the box, the center, click the center, and then rotate to uh, GPS track. As long as you have a heading there and it agrees with your DG heading, you know that you have uh, GPS connected. Number three, you're going to need to make sure that you have AV mag connected. And we know that to be sure of that because when we were back here on the heading, it matched with the GPS track. Pretty close at least, because that's our magnetic heading. So we know we have the AV mag. If you need to make uh, for sure if something's not quite right, then you can also go into the install menu while you're on the ground and look at serial four and confirm that it is indeed turned on and you don't have any errors. The fourth thing is make sure that airspeed is indicating correctly. So we can see here, it's very close. So we got 116 and we're right about 160, 117. It's matching up with our airspeed indicator. Um, one thing that you may want to do to make sure that it's indicating correctly, if it's off at all, especially if it's on the ground indicating airspeed, you want to want to complete the pedo zero. There is a video on that on YouTube that you can also look up. Um, to, on how to do that. Once you confirm that you have everything, you can set up the wind on the unit that displays the OAT. And this is very easy. If you have an AVHSI, then you can display it on both the AI and the DG. To display wind speed and direction on the AI, you'll need to click the left button and rotate the box to where you want to have it displayed. Push the center button, and then we're going to look for We may want to get out of the sun. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I will try and go over to the shade. So, we're going to want to rotate to... We want to make this as realistic as possible. we got the sun coming straight at us. The wind speed and direction is going to be towards the end. So you're going to rotate it to the right until you see... There's two different things you can show. Wind comp is one. Siren. Traffic, and we'll go ahead and put the other one here at the bottom left, which is going to be the wind vector. So I'll explain a little bit about what these are showing. The wind comp is going to tell us what our tailwind is and what our crosswind is, our crosswind component. So we can see that our tailwind, well, we're in a turn right now, so it's changing a little bit. But uh, we'll settle out here, and we have about not much of a tailwind at all. We have a little bit of a crosswind right now um, of seven, eight knots. And then you can also see your actual full-on wind in this area down here where we put the, um, the wind vector. So we can see it's coming from our... Well, if we match it up with our, our heading, you're going to see it's coming out of the, uh, what would that be? A little bit to the, like, 150 or so. Oh, well, it just went, um, so as it goes blank, it just means that we just don't have any wind to show. So it's about, it's from our south, pretty much directly from our south is what we're showing here, about five knots. A little bit of southeast wind. So if we change this, if we move down here to the the DG version, we'll go over to a different page. I can show you how that's displayed. So this is our DG heading page, and it's already set up here. Same thing, you click the left button one time, you rotate the box to where you want it, and then you select wind comp. And so this also will show wind comp and vector. But the nice thing that this is showing is now we can see exactly where the wind is coming. So we can see um, 
that is coming from definitely from the south. And uh, we have about 14 knots that it's coming. So we got a little bit of changing going on right now. We have some, looks like there might be a front coming in too. So we have some var variable winds that we're, we're seeing right now. Having the wind speed and direction will display an arrow on the heading row. So that's what I wanted to show you there. So enjoy the wind speed and direction. We had many requests for this feature. Uh, thank you for all your input. Hope you enjoy. I think a lot of people have enjoyed this feature. And if you don't have an AV mag, uh, I would highly recommend getting it. If you don't have it connected to a GPS, highly recommend that. And then also the OAT probe. Just make note, the AV mag can be paralleled to multiple units. The OAT probe cannot be, but if you have an AVHSI, it will share the OAT information amongst all the units. So enjoy. Thanks so much.